How's it going everybody? It's Mystical here. This is kind of a uh, special commentary video. It was not really planned at any time, but uh, I decided to uh, make it today because for the first time ever uh, in Black Ops 3 or I guess any Call of Duty, uh, I hit Prestige Master, which I guess not every Call of Duty had this feature either, but uh, I basically hit the max rank for prestiging, which is pretty crazy considering uh, I didn't really play that much Call of Duty, or even when I did, if I hit the max rank, I would never prestige because I didn't want to have to re-level just to get the same guns because I just didn't play it much. But uh, today I was going to kind of talk about that, and it's just kind of cool to finally have the uh, max level. I mean, technically I can get to now a thousand, but you know, I've, I've got the orange number next to my name, so that's pretty cool. Um... It's nowhere near as cool as I say as, uh, you know, back in the day of like Halo 3 when I got like a level 50, because that definitely required more skill, I'd say. This was progression based, so you'd eventually get it. But it still took a lot of time and dedication playing this game a ton to uh, get it to this level. But it, I've had a lot of fun, that's the reason why I played it too. But uh, yeah, I, I got to the highest level. And uh, I got a 1.6 KD, and when I started the game, when it came out in 2015, I really didn't play it that much. Um, and I wasn't very good either. I think I was barely breaking even. I was just so frustrated with like the lag and everything, and uh, wasn't really uh, used to the advanced movement or anything. And it's kind of strange, you know, when I think about it. Uh, Black Ops 3, I think, is my most played Call of Duty now. And Modern Warfare 2 is still my favorite. But uh, the amount of days I put into this game now has surpassed every other single one. And it's kind of funny because I'm not really a fan of advanced movement yet. Uh, I just came and clung to this one earlier this year and just kept playing and got better and just got all the way to <laughs> Prestige Master now. <laughs> and I don't intend to stop gonna keep having fun but uh yeah i mean my highest weapon was the can 44 which you start with and then the icr which i want this one probably to be my top one if not this then i finally got the peacekeeper too which i'm already starting to get a lot of kills on but uh a lot of people use the tryhard weapons which in my list the vmp and the brecky you gotta go all the way down here i i barely have any kills not even a thousand with those uh, I definitely like distributing my weapons and the ones I use. Um, but yeah, I got the game when it came out and then uh, basically didn't really enjoy it. I still enjoyed more classic Call of Duty, kind of the same way with Halo. And then later this January, I, uh, I think it was like 1 a.m. at night because I was still on... Christmas break before going back to work and I was like yeah I'll just try this game and I actually just had a lot of fun after not really playing it that much online and then it kind of just started from there I started doing the daily challenges and the weeklies and I never stopped so over this entire year these 10 months or so I've just been playing almost every day doing the dailies but I won't bore you guys with uh, the menu here I'll put on some Call of Duty gameplay in the background for you guys so yeah Basically, uh, I started and I just kept playing and I got better and then I started to learn like the movement with advanced movement, you know, like how to do the double jumps and the dashes and how to like dash off of objects to make you go faster and uh, adapting to the lag, you know, because it, it can be laggy at times, but I've kind of not seen it as much anymore and I've gotten used to certain things and uh, then I would be going against prestige master players that I've been playing forever and was beating them and now I finally have gotten one but it's it's really interesting because uh, for all the Xbox One Call of Duty games that have come out this is really the only one that I played online a substantial amount uh, Call of Duty Ghosts I didn't get it when it first came out I got my Xbox One a year later for Master Chief Collection and got Ghosts for like 20 bucks and I put a couple days worth into that but I only play the uh, um, squad squad mode, which is still technically requires online, but it's only against bots. I never actually played a match in that game online against another player. I never will. I enjoy the bot matches. It's good enough for me. 
Um, uh, Advanced Warfare, I only made it to level 11. I think I only played that first week or two online and never went back. I just got bored of it online. Uh, I do occasionally play the bot matches still, which I, I enjoy that, get my money's worth out of it. I just want fun chaos, but I didn't really enjoy the weapon set that much. And, uh, just the advanced movement when it started, you know. And then Black Ops 3 came out. Uh, I played it a little more online because friends had that one. Um, and, you know, I think I made it to level 55 within the first two months, but then I kind of stopped playing online a lot. And then when I did, I didn't prestige or anything because I usually don't do that in Call of Duties. Um, and then, you know, Infinite Warfare, I've, I've, I think I've only made it to, like, level 30 right now. I've very... I think I've played almost as many bot matches as I have online. Like it's 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 a solid game in terms of like uh, hit markers. Everything feels very clean and solid, but uh, I don't know. It's not as colorful in terms of the saturation. You know, there's you know uh, the weapons are kind of cool, some of them, but uh, and the maps are all right, I guess. But um, the gameplay is is all right, but you get melted so fast in that game. I just I wasn't enjoying it as much, but uh, I do occasionally go back to play it online, only for a little while. But yeah, then this last January, I uh, kind of just went full throttle on Black Ops 3, and I've still been enjoying it a lot. Um, I think the only other game that I you know put this much time into would be like the Halos, you know. So. uh... It's kind of just gone to that and gotten better at this game, and it's definitely translated over to Infinite Warfare when I played it uh, after playing this so much, the advanced movement. But that's the funny thing about it, is uh, I'm not really a fan of the advanced movement. Even like, you know, classic Halo, I'm much better at the non-ability stuff, you know, just you and the map. And that definitely still rings true for Halo, but Call of Duty, I've kind of adapted to it. But, uh... I mean, I, I played Modern Warfare Remastered a bit. Uh, I actually prestige in that recently, but uh, even then, it's I only play it like you know, once or twice a month, and then most of the time it's with bots too. Uh, that game can be pretty campy, and that brings me to the point. I think that's why I like Black Ops 3 so much. So there's there's so many ways to counter campers, and um, you know, you've got the UAVs, the haters. There's even like. The, um, sensor uh, um, perk that you can use that I like using, but I can use it without and still do well. Um, but yeah, I kind of just got good at it, and you know, it, it's a very much a rush mentality game, I feel, compared to other Call of Duty's where people can camp and then beat you that way, being really annoying. Uh, I have not seen many players been able to camp against me and beat me, and I think it's because uh, this map, Treyarch, did a really good job with all the maps. They all have like these three lanes, so there's ways to flank. And I'm really, really good at rushing. If, if you watched all my gameplays, I rush a lot. I hate staying in the same spot unless it's for an objective. Um, I hate rushing, or uh, I hate camping and sitting. Um, but I love rushing, I love flanking. Wherever the everybody else is on the map, I want to be on the other side going around basically. And that's what really pays off, you know. I've noticed in Remastered, I'm frustrated sometimes because everything's just run forward into the mosh pit. There's not really many ways to get around. And I think that's really what made uh, Black Ops 3 really good for me is uh, the options on the map. It gave me that the maps definitely play a huge role. Um, I don't do really too bad. And my KD was a 1.6, but I think I'm almost a 1.8 in Team Deathmatch. And it's a little lower because I do actually play the objective, you know. I have no problem dying, you know, to capture the hill or whatever, or steal a flag and whatnot. But uh, even then, I put up good numbers. But my KD has been going up higher and higher each month I've been playing here. And now I guess my goal, now that I've hit Prestige Master, is to uh, get the uh, 2.0 KD, which I know will happen because I'm consistently playing better and better when those first two years. It was kind of the first year and a half that the KD was low, and so I've been having to rebuild it technically but uh yeah everything in the game and the weapons too you know the one disappointment is the black market i'm not a fan of the uh microtransactions uh, i played enough now that i've gotten a lot of the favorite weapons that i wanted without having to spend money but uh that's one thing infinite warfare uh and i think activision learned is their 
giving the the yeah, DLC the weapons again for free for people who have the season pass, and they didn't do that in Black Ops 3. But uh, I'm hoping the next Treyarch game, because there's rumors it'll be a Modern War game possibly. That would be exciting, that this black market kind of thing will be very different. Or it'll be like Modern Warfare Remastered, where you get scrap, and then you can outright get the thing you want without having to hope for some dumb RNG. But, um, yeah, that's, that's really all I had to say, but I, I'm really happy that I got to the orange numbers now. It's pretty cool, um, and I'm going to keep playing, but... Uh, I have so much Black Ops 3 gameplay, and that's why you guys have been seeing me upload. I think I'm only on the third or second prestige currently in uploads, so you will literally see the continuation of my road to Prestige Master for probably the next year or so, because it's going to take forever to upload all this. I think I'm only doing uh, 12 matches per week, you know, and on average I play like 3 to 4 matches a day, so you know that's like 28 matches on a minimum per week, you know, so I'm already playing more than I'm uploading technically a week, but um, yeah, it's been fun and it's gonna keep being fun, I just kinda wanted to make a commentary on this, cause it's, to me it's kinda one of those big accomplishments, it's kinda like someone getting Inheritor in Halo Reach, I guess, or it's eventually will happen if you play enough. But uh, being more skilled at the game and earning more points obviously uh, speeds you up to it. Because you, as you've seen my combat record, I only have like 3k kills with the top weapons I use. That's not a lot compared to other people and I'm already prestige master. So uh, it's just getting that score per minute up and, you know, doing objectives and being really effective, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that's really all I had to say about Call of Duty. For those who are wanted a different commentary. Terry, I actually am planning to do some more. Uh, I want to do one on the Star Wars Battlefront beta, what I think about it and what I hope the full game will be. Um, and I'll probably have a commentary on Master Chief Collection again because uh, my last video, uh, I wouldn't say got a lot of hate, but it got a little. It was kind of weird. I think it was people who weren't subscribed to the channel when I was talking about how I preferred to play Master Chief over... Uh, backwards compatibility some people were uh, I guess not happy about it or they're like you're not gonna be able to play Master Chief Collection because uh, everyone's gonna be playing backwards compatible but I'm gonna prove them wrong in that video basically by the fact I'm still able to play but anyways that's another commentary um, and I should make a video within two weeks but I am pl uh, moving very soon here within a week or two so uh, there may be a time where I'll be down or offline because of internet swipping, swapping, but I'm hoping it, it won't even have to be a, a day offline. But that's another thing coming in the future. But anyways, uh, if you guys enjoy Black Ops 3, there's more videos coming for sure. And, you know, I've gotten to Prestige Master now, so it's a given. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys around. Wasted. UAV awaiting orders. I need to turn sensors or capture your object. Smoke check. check Request Cerberus unit. 